on computer. <laughs> What's up, baby? Hey, baby. So we're making this little record. <laughs> Look at you. You're so pretty. <laughs> You're so handsome. <laughs> So we're, we're making this little video for our YouTube page, for our YouTube subscribers. Uh, this is our first. We got married uh, March 10th. We went on our honeymoon to Jamaica. We got back on March 17th. Uh, she came mm -hmm. to me on March, to preach on March 18th. I preached March 18th. And then, no, March 19th. And then March 8th, March 20th, she left to go back to Atlanta. Yes. People have been asking us this, baby, like, like how we going to do this? How we going to do? And so we got, we just thought we would share with everybody this first time being separated uh, after our wedding. And this has been hard. <laughs> it sure has. It has been difficult. Yeah. Like you said, you we got back. Um, you preached at New Birth. Uh, for Bishop Curry on the 19th. And then I needed to get back because I wanted to be here for uh, Bishop Joanne White. She had a birthday celebration on um, Saturday, uh, March the 23rd. And so I wanted to be back in time for her celebration. And uh, it's really been tough. I don't think we thought it was going to be this hard being away from each other because we dated long distance, was engaged long distance. And so we thought it would be an easy Fix, you know, right, but right. We I have missed my man of God. I miss my husband, y'all. I miss my God. Don't keep my husband away from me. Yeah, I, I, all of that. All of that. As you can see, she's in Atlanta and I'm in South Florida. Yeah. We've been separated since Wednesday and this now Saturday. And <laughs> this was hard. I'm going I'm, to I'm expose this. I, we talked about this. The biggest thing for me, I thought after sleeping by myself for so long, that I would have to, that it would be a big adjustment for me to sleep with someone else in the bed with me. But now that first night when you were gone, man, mm -hmm. I was like reaching over and like, I'm like, <laughs> oh, my wife is not here. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I felt the same way. I couldn't go to sleep. I was like pacing, pacing, like I need my husband. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't like it, man. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. This, yeah, this is hard. We just, we're just giving y'all a little peek into um uh I called it I call it newlywed chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yes, yes. Newly and you know the, the thing about it, babe, is uh so many people have asked us like how are y'all gonna do it? And I think we thought we had a grip on it, you know, at right. one point, um, because we did again date long distance and was engaged long distance, but marriage is a whole different dynamic. It's a whole different dynamic. And, um, oh. and though we both are ministry minded and we have ministries, I'm like always what I tell you yesterday, I'm working my way back to you, babe. <laughs> I'm trying to get back over there to my man of God. And I know you're trying to get here. And so we're learning, you know, we're growing, we're figuring it out. We're making the adjustments and making the sacrifices um, to make it work, you know? And so this is real because because so many couples have come to me, even recently, a couple um, that's that's dating, engaged long distance as well. And they're looking at us like, how are y'all doing that? So we're Man. figuring it all out. Y'all see out. how sad I look? Y'all see how sad I'm looking? <laughs> Do I look sad, baby? I look sad, right? You don't look sad, baby. So you don't see my puppy dog eyes? I'm looking sad. I can't really see him because you're so handsome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're you so handsome. Blush. <laughs> this is hard, man. I I came lie to y'all, man. This is this is rough. I didn't know. I didn't know. I mean, I love this lady right here, and I didn't know. I thought. I thought. You know. I thought we could. You know. I I, I didn't even think that a couple of days would matter, but it was it was bad the first night. It was bad the yeah. first night that I had to uh, sleep by myself. I'm like, what is this? I just got married. I'm yeah. I'm supposed to still be used to sleeping alone. I just got married. And so, but you know what? That's a testament to something we're going to talk about. And we're going to, we're, we're almost done, but we're going to talk about this in another time. Uh, we're going to talk about the importance of honeymooning. Yes. Uh, the importance of honeymoon. That's what got us like this. Mm -hmm. The importance of honeymooning, that bonding time that we spent to bond. Uh, uh, I'll just let you say a little bit about it because you were talking about how you, that, that was her idea that we do something later on about the importance of honeymooning. Why, why are we going to do that later, baby?
because we were in Jamaica and as we were in, you know, away from everything, away from everybody, um, I think it probably took us about a day or so to really just adjust to the marriage life, <laughs> you know, and being with each other every day like that and, and understanding the importance of what bonding is, you know, without um, a lot of times, even when we were together and dating or traveling, we've always been by our phones, you know, we're pastors. So somebody has had a need or we're, you're on the prayer line, you know, y'all prayer line every day at 1230, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to rip it right and do this in between. And so we're always going. And for the first time, we had a whole week where it was just us yeah. and, and just hearing each other's heart. And I think probably, probably by like day three or something, like I just felt so intertwined with you. Like, I just felt like our souls, our spirits, everything's just meshed and connected because there was no distractions. And I was like, wow, it's crazy. You get to this stage in your life. And I'm like, I really understand the importance of the honeymoon now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, It's more man. than just consummating the marriage, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. um, but it's really just the bonding and, and, the, and what you're building because you're building a foundation of love from a different place than you was when you were dating or engaged, you know, now you're building your home of marriage. And I was like, we got to talk about this. The well, on it. That, that honeymoon got us messed up now. <laughs> yes. Yes. And you know what, you know, I said to you the other day too, husband, I was like, I really feel that a couple couples need at least a month. Like you need one right. month. If you're able, I, what I said was, I said, while you're preparing and planning for your wedding, you know, if you have to trim back on the cost of a dress or trim back on, you know, um, something in the event facility and save that extra money so you can have more time, you need that. Like couples that are getting married, whether it's your first time, you know, 10th time, whatever, you know, act like it's your first time. You really need that bonding time. And I think a month is good. We've had, this is our second week here. And I promise you, I'm so not ready to be, you know, away from my husband one. And I'm not even ready to be back functioning in life. I'm just, I'm just, I just want to, I tell him all the time, I just want to be in your arms, you know, but you Chronicles. need it. That bonding. What'd you say, babe? I said newlywed Chronicles. <laughs> newlywed Chronicles. So we've got to talk about that, the importance of the honeymoon yeah. and so many other things. And um, and so I'm, I'm, even though we're two weeks in, you know, as of the recording, time of this recording, I'm still just like, I'm in honeymoon mindset. I'm not coming out. <laughs> I'm not coming out. I'm not coming out. And, and I want to forever be in this place as well. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, we just we just took a moment to just kind of give you all a peek into uh, our day, our week since she's been gone back. <sighs> uh, last Wednesday, I haven't seen her since Wednesday, and I won't see her until Monday when I fly to Atlanta for uh, for three days or four days. I fly there, and then I fly back four days. Thursday. Well, I fly back Thursday morning, and uh, yeah. And then she comes down the following week. But, you know, we knew what we signed up for because we both are senior pastors in different cities. So it was going to require flying anyway. It was going to require some flying, but we just got to get rid of those days that we're apart. Because, uh, yeah, that bugged me. So I, we just we just give y'all a peek into it, man. It, I, I know I'm looking sad. <laughs> <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, this bugged me. I don't, I don't let nobody see me looking weak, but uh, I'm 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 a little weak right now because my girl is in uh in Atlanta and I'm in South Florida. But, and you have Facetime. Uh, we gonna, we gonna figure it. Yeah, I'm always Facetiming her, man. I'm always Facetiming. And her. and I think during our engagement and dating process, you, we probably Facetime maybe once a month. I mean, like we're not because yeah, I'm not a, a big lot. Facetimer. I'm not a big FaceTimer, but you have FaceTimed me like several times a day. And I'm like, every day. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, babe, you like, I don't care if you got the bonnet on. I'm like, babe, give me time. Yes, you, want, you want to the bonnet. You married to me now. I've seen you in the bonnet before. Why are you why are you trying to, to hide in the bonnet? I, I, you, you sleep with me in the bonnet. Now it's different. We married. I can understand that when we were engaged, but we're not engaged anymore. We married. I'm going to see the bonnet. We, we didn't talk about. We done talked about everything. We done talked about passing gas and snoring and all that oh. stuff. <laughs> hey, it's YouTube. We, they can come see that. <laughs> we done yeah. talked about passing gas, snoring, and pooping and everything. So what's, what's with the bonnet? <laughs> oh, we can't do the bonnet. 
not the body. I'm like, I'm not going to let you FaceTime me and I have not seen you in person. And I'm answering as a newlywed. As a newlywed. Nine days All right. into the marriage or 10 days into the marriage with the body. Not the body. Not the body. All right. We didn't want to hold this video that long. We just wanted to give you a peek into what we're dealing with as a long distance married couple, which that God is doing some things to shorten that distance. He's doing some things even as we speak to shorten that distance. He's opening some doors. He's making some ways. And uh, God speaks to anybody to help us do it. Somebody want to give us a jet? Yes. Watching YouTube? You, Lord say, give them a jet with the fuel. With the fuel. We will gladly receive it. We will pray over you. Pray God's blessings upon, or just use your jet, rather. If you say God said, let them use your jet to fly back and forth. Listen, we will pray God's blessings to shower down and overtake your life. Yes. In Jesus' name. All right. In Jesus' name. <laughs> All right, baby. Now I got, see, now we got, I'm in Florida. She's in Atlanta. We're about to shut off, and I'm not going to see her face, but I'm going to FaceTime you. But you know what? I can't wait until we do um, the next one when we talk about the Newlywed Chronicles. Because yeah, the, crazy, the crazy thing is, this was your idea. And I'm usually always the video person. <laughs> the whole time in dating and being engaged, I'm just videoing. And you're like, uh, not another video. And now you're the video person. The video it's been passed on to you. <laughs> the mantle. Well, the next time we're going to go live. Next time we're going to go live. All right, let's do that. Let's uh, do that. With Newlywed Chronicles. We're going to go live uh, and talk about, uh, what was it? The importance of honeymooning. Yes. Adding that to the budget. Mm -hmm. And just everything we're dealing with as newlyweds and as. And then even talking to married pastors. Yes. Newlywed pastors. That's meshing. Ooh. Family and ministry. That's that's a whole nother subject. So we got a lot of things coming up. So we just want to share this video with you. Uh, if you're watching it, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. We need you to subscribe. Tell all your friend, family and friends if you've been following our journey all the way from Marlon, will you marry me? Hey, if, you, if you've been following our journey, please subscribe. Be, please become a subscriber to James and Marlon's YouTube page. All right. Got anything else, baby? Be a part of our family. <laughs> subscribe <laughs> <laughs> all right god bless you thank you so much now how do i stop it <laughs> <laughs>